Isaiah 49, verses 1 to 13. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have laboured in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward is with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honoured in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvations may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to, no, to one deeply despised and abhorred by nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favour I have answered you, on a day of salvation I have helped you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people, to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritage, saying to the prisoners, Come out to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways, and all the bare heights shall be their pastures, and they shall not hunger or thirst. Neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down, for he who has pity on them will lead them, and by the springs of water will guide them. And I will turn all my mountains onto a road, and my highways shall be raised up. And lo, they shall come from far and away, and lo, those from the north and from the west, and those from the land of Sion. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exalt, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones.